Rails 8 is right around the corner, and at the time of this recording, Beta 1 has already been released. So if you are going to be starting a new Rails application, this episode may not provide a lot of insight, but it can provide some context about Solid Q, which we will be looking at in this episode. In this episode, we're going to take a fresh Rails 7 to 1 application and add Solid Q to it. I did cover Solid Q at the beginning of the year. However, a lot has changed since then. And it was something announced at the most recent Rails World that I unfortunately wasn't able to attend. However, I was really happy to see that the keynote was already uploaded so early on. And I think as more people adopt Solid Q because it is now the default background worker within a new Rails application, if you are starting from Rails 8 or later, we will see it mature more over time. And I don't want this to dismiss all of the great work that has been done in the past with Sidekick, Good Job, Rescue, and Delay Job, and the many others out there. However, if there is something provided by the Rails core that will be maintained by the Rails core, I'm more likely to go that route instead. And with the recent updates of Solid Q, that's becoming even more feasible because we now have access to things like recurring jobs. And so in this episode, we are going to be looking at adding in Solid Q into a Rails 7 application and also some of the different configuration options and some of the things that you need to know, as well as some of my own personal opinions about how we should manage it. And we're also going to be looking at mission control jobs, which is basically the web interface for being able to see what jobs have been executed and also what workers we have running and any recurring jobs that we have going on as well. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.